I climbed Mount Vesuvius, one of the oldest and most famous volcanoes in the world, to see if it was possible to roast marshmallows from the very top. We drove up part of the way by bus, but from there, the rest of the way up was not easy by any means. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you haven't done so already. That way, you won't miss out on any future videos by me. Once we go through there, the rest of the way up is on foot. I've got my gimbal, we're gonna set that up in a little bit. Let's climb a volcano. So we're currently taking a special VIP pathway because half of our group got their tickets mixed up. Hold on, let me restabilize you. There we go. It's actually a pretty sweet view. Wow. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this while we walk, but I'm trying to take it in early because once we get higher up, it's gonna be a little harder to breathe. Anyway, we continue walking for a while, taking in the scenery and check out this absolute money shot I took. The walking we were doing started to catch up with me after a really short while, and we'd barely done any of the trail yet. I brought some water with me from a gift shop at the start of the trail, which was a big help, but I wish I brought more of it. Luckily, shortly after this, we stopped for a quick break to catch our breath, take some pictures, and learn a bit more history about Mount Vesuvius, which was pretty cool. Now, pay close attention to this next part, everybody, because this is me finding out in real time that we still had at least another 800 meters left to go. But who am I to complain when we got to take in incredible views like this the entire time we were walking? Who am I kidding? I was exhausted. Okay, we're about 75, 80% of the way up at this point. Uh, surprisingly, I'm getting used to the extra thin air, but I'm losing all feeling in my legs right now. Really hoping we stop to catch our breath at the peak for at least a little while. Okay, Aubin, we're, we're about 80% of the way up. How are you feeling? Orange is the only color you can taste. Good to know. A little later, I found a stick on the ground, which was going to help tremendously once we reached the top of the mountain. And then, before I knew it, we stopped to have yet another break. Ah, oh, thank God. You said it, and I actually got to sit down for this one, have some water, things were good, and then it was over. Well, that was a very nice but short-lived break. Let's keep going. Lucky us. This next part of the hike was especially challenging because it was around this point where we noticed that the ground was slowly getting steeper the higher up we went, and it started to feel like there was no end in sight. Okay, so I think we're getting really close to the crater. Uh, we can almost see it from where we are now, and uh, there's a mini bridge up ahead, so probably can stop to catch my breath for about a minute or so while I wait for everyone else to catch up. We're actually pretty far ahead of about half the people here with us. This bridge actually ends up being a great vantage point because you could see below it what was left of where the lava was thousands of years ago. Guys, we stopped to catch our breath for one minute and we already lost our guy. Hopefully he didn't get too far ahead because I have no idea where we're going. And then, after what literally felt like forever, the lowest point of the peak was finally within view. You know in Rocky, when he's doing like that run and he's nearing the steps, like he's about halfway up the steps? <sighs> Imagine that feeling times five. No, 50. Because this has to be like at least 50 times higher than the Rocky steps. Oh my God. Now that we are much further up Mount Vesuvius at this point, it was time to begin setting up for our experiment before we went any further up. So anyone who's ever taken a science class would know that heat rises. And what better place for heat to rise than at the top of an active volcano? So I brought these with me. Hardly anyone in the group knows I have them. And we're going to answer the question probably no one was wondering. Can you or can you not roast marshmallows on top of an active volcano? National Geographic, please sponsor me. This trek was not easy. After another crash course on Mount Vesuvian history, we got one final but very crucial warning before we continued hiking any further up the volcano. So we've just been told if we don't want to keep going any further because we have breathing problems or anything, this would be the point to turn back. I've dedicated myself to this bit, to you guys, my audience, and I think it'd be crazy to turn back now. So I broke down my gimbal just to make my arm like lose a little bit less feeling while we keep walking. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Not much later, I would begin to rethink my decision a little bit. And shortly after that, I kind of lost my balance. Just for a second. Okay, I nearly just fell over, in case you couldn't guess that from that B-roll. So I'm probably just gonna stop filming for a little bit so I have a hand free in case I lose my balance again. I'll see you guys at the top. We're back. Right ahead of me is the highest point of Mount Vesuvius, we can physically climb to. Let's check it out. Oh, really? Ciao. 
You deserve it. Aside from all the bugs, this was a thousand percent worth the climb. I mean, check this out. Check this out. You don't see this every day. And now, to answer the age-old question, probably no one else was wondering. Let's go. Two hours later. Okay, guys, we're back at the hostel. This is my view, by the way. I'm just kind of waiting for the shower to free up, and you're probably wondering what happened when we reached the top of Mount Vesuvius. Well, I'm gonna break it down for you right now. I looked it up just now, and on average, it takes about five minutes to roast a marshmallow, which is about how long we were at the top of Mount Vesuvius for, taking pictures, taking in the view, all that kind of stuff. As we started making our way back down, my marshmallow was looking exactly the same i don't know whether or not the thinness of the air that high up was factoring in and also just like the amount of time we were up there for but i'm willing to bet they did at least a little bit so the answer to the question that i posed with this video can you roast marshmallows on top of an active volcano most likely not but at least i had a snack on the way down Tastes like chicken. We kept very carefully walking for a while and then I ditched my stick right outside one of the gift shops. That's right, turns out Mount Vesuvius has more than one gift shop along each of the trails. And apart from a few select items, they each offer many of the same things as each other. So you're not really missing out on too much if you just stick to the gift shop right by the start of the trail. They all only take cash, which I had to learn the hard way. So when you go, bring plenty of euros. As for walking that whole way up itself, the views are absolutely worth it. The bugs, not so much. Also, just take a look at how scuffed my shoes are. I definitely need to wash these when we're back in Rome. Anyway, I'm gonna hop a shower and get ready for dinner. Ciao.